Good morning, guys. Today is Motivational Monday. Yesterday, the President of the United States declared Sunday, March the 15th, the National Day of Prayer. And I wrote a prayer, and I sent the prayer across Facebook. Today, I am going to read that prayer to you. So if you would like, bow your head and listen. If you want to watch and listen, that's fine too. But I figured we would start the week out in a prayer from the heart. Dear God, I pray for all of life here on earth today. I pray, Lord, you will protect our children from all of this chaos that has been created. I pray, Lord, that all will remain safe from such devastating outcomes evil is putting upon this earth. I pray, Lord, that veils will be pulled so we can all see the truths in which have been hidden for so long. I pray wolves in sheep's clothing will be unmasked and all thorn thickets will be groomed into a path of righteousness leading to the foot of your almighty presence. I pray for the elderly that is ready to go home will not suffer or gasp in pain one second at this COVID-19 reign of terror. I pray for the ones who are ready to go in love and peace. I pray for the ones who are not to realize the importance of their journey and seek out your love and devotion and return it to you and teach their own children and loved ones to do the same. I pray for the ones who are lost and in the dark to look to you for the eternal light of love, faith, and righteousness. For the ones that fear has pierced their lives of dishonest leaders in this world to be calmed in your loving hands of truth and justice. I pray, my dear Lord, for your forgiveness of all humanity and our sins, big and small. I pray for those of us are lost and the path to righteousness is cleared and the way to you is mapped in our hearts and minds. I pray the lonely See, they are never alone. The depressed are seed of perfection, and we all are your children. You, dear Lord, can see this world in its entirety, and we only see and experience the world that surrounds us. Our leader has declared this day the National Day of Prayer, and I pray for this world beyond its nations, beyond its leaders, and beyond its beliefs. I pray, Lord, your truth will radiate in all hearts of earth. I pray for freedom. Thank you, dear Lord, for everything you have given us, our children and families, our friends and experiences, our health, body, and strength to move forward. Thank you, Lord, for the very breath you gave each and every one of us. In the sweet name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Please allow this prayer to move forward and others to see and read for ones that add their prayers and reach their hands to you. Amen. This weekend, there has so much happened this weekend. And with everything that's been going on, it's a wonder if we've had time to stop and just breathe. I know there's a lot of people out there that's suffering right now or that's in panic. And, you know, when you're in panic, things just go a little bit more loopy than what they need to be. My suggestion to everyone is to remain calm. God's got this. We're fine. You know, I mean, they restock stores every week. That's going to continue to happen. 
The shelves went empty. But they'll be restocked. It's not like it's the last bit of supplies out there. Remember, guys, to protect yourself, to protect others. Remember, when there's two packs of wipes, there's another mother who needs it. We'll get through this together. Everything's going to be fine. Um, the uh, whole entire United States is pulling together, putting their differences aside. You know, politics will be there later on. And we're going to all get through this. There's no need for panic. There's no need for rage. There's no need for any of that. Everything will be fine. If you are concerned, if you're a parent that are concerned and your children being out of school, look to your local area. In our local area, the schools are offering lunches from 11 to 12, I believe, or 11 to 1, starting tomorrow. Just check your local directory and see what is happening. There will be the children in our area. The children have to be with you. And it's a drive through process. Nobody's going inside of the schools. And you'll drive around and you'll be able to get your children their lunch as normal. Faith in Action is another um, organization that helps out in uh, Southwest Virginia anyway. And they're, they're going to be helping again in your local area. Um, check and see what is available. But everybody is pulling together. You know, just stay mindful. Stay mindful. Wash your hands. Don't touch things and touch your face. And drink after anybody or such, you know. I don't know if you guys have watched the news, but the elbow bump seems a whole lot more formal to me. It's simplicity, guys, and it's common sense. Okay. Last week was crazy. I had crazy experiences. For goodness sake, if you got to throw up, don't throw up outside your window in the middle of town. You know... If you're sick, you shouldn't be out there anyway. There is no way you should be out there. But maybe there's circumstances where you're the only one and you have to go. Well, you know what? Think ahead. Plan ahead. Take a paper bag. Take a plastic bag to line it with. You know, it's simple. Be responsible. Be mindful. Schools are shut down for two weeks in this area. You know, a lot of things can happen in two weeks. But stay positive. Keep yourself busy. You know, if you're sick, stay home. If you're afraid to go out, stay home. You know, things don't have to be worse than what they already are. We're going to be all right. And use this time to spend time with your family, with your children. You know, the world is always going so fast. Everything's going by so fast. And there's so much that we miss as adults and trying to raise our families and, and trying to survive. There's a lot that we miss. The time that you have, spend it now with your children. Tend to your children. Learn your children. Learn who your children are. See what you've been missing out on. Guys, I'll see you guys tomorrow, and I hope everybody has a wonderful Monday. If you're new to my channel, my name is Becca, and you can hit the subscribe button, ding the bell to get all of my videos, and give me a thumbs up. You guys have been watching The French Fried Truth. See ya.